Hey y'all, welcome to the Sweet Chariot Travel Channel. I'm Chinita and I'm currently on my solo traveling journey across Southeast Asia. Join me in this travel vlog where I'll be sharing my first impressions of Jakarta, including my visit to the National Monument, the Istiklal Mosque, and an Indonesian restaurant at the Grand Indonesian Mall. I hope y'all enjoy this video. Don't forget to hit that like button, share the video, and of course, subscribe to the channel for more vlogs of my solo traveling journey. I'm headed to the National Monument. I didn't know if this was, if I was going the right way. I just kept on walking and I was like, if somebody stops me, then hopefully they can tell me where to go. But y'all, I was lost. Cause I had to walk through a parking lot and then there was like an area where there were different vendors set up. So yeah, I wasn't sure where to go. But yeah, we're almost close to the monument and it's, like an open park out here with benches nothing too much it's not like a regular park with a playground I do see like some stuff where kids can play at but it's not a regular type of park and then they have some military trucks look like yeah some military trucks a military type of charter bus I see some tanks over there yeah Okay, we're almost close. There she is. Actually, it's probably a male since it is, well, you know, like a pole. So there he is. Oh my God, what's going on today? The military out here doing anything? I wanna go watch them. I wanna see what their military is like. Hmm. The armed forces were gearing up for their 78th anniversary. The Indonesian National Armed Forces were established in 1956 during the revolution against the Dutch Empire. The National Monument in Jakarta was completed in 1975 and it stands as a representation of Indonesia's hard-fought independence from Dutch colonial rule. There's some tour guides around the monument. One took my picture, he was really sweet. And he was telling me the history of the monument. Um, so apparently I have to go here to get a ticket first. Hmm. Within the monument, there is a museum at its base that has historical artifacts and exhibits documenting Indonesia's struggle for freedom. Visitors are required to use a jack card, which is a prepaid card used for entry to this museum as well as other museums, to tourist attractions, as well as for the bus. The jack card is 45,000 rupiah. You can get it from the ticket counter. Since I was pressed for time, I decided to go to the mosque instead of going to the museum. A tip for those who are visiting the monument is to take the shuttle service at the entrance of the square. The ticket counter was all the way on the other side and by the time I made it over there, I was just, I was ready to go. It was hot and I really wanted to see the mosque. I took the bait. <laughs> They asked me, do you want ice cream? Mm. Yes, it's so hot. Mm. All right, I'm back at it. I had to take the bait because I was so hot. And why y'all didn't tell me my makeup was messed up? My whole lipstick was like smeared over my face, <laughs> over my lips, because I had on my mask. It's best to have on a mask when you're here because of the smog and stuff. It's very thick and last night I could feel my throat scratching up so it's best to have on a mask. So I've made it to the mosque. His dad told me to go down here to get into the mosque. I'm about to put on my mask because I think it's best if I put on my mask. 
singing their heart out. When you go to Junk Jakarta as well as here in Jakarta, you hear them doing the prayers throughout the day. So that takes some getting used to. Wow, look at the, look at the cathedral. That is beautiful. Wow. The Istiklal Mosque stands as the largest mosque in Southeast Asia and holds significant symbolism for Indonesia's independence. It's important to follow the dress code by covering your head and body. I highly recommend wearing socks because shoes are not allowed inside of the mosque. Non-Muslim visitors are required to participate in guided tours to explore the mosque. In my upcoming video, I'll be sharing my personal experience exploring this beautiful mosque. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell to stay updated on my latest videos. So I just left the mosque. I'm headed back towards the Independence Monument. Actually, I didn't know that the Indonesians had to gain their independence from the Japanese which is what the mosque is supposed to represent. I'm headed back this way because my phone is acting funny. So I have to go to the Telcomcell office to the store so that they can see what's wrong with my phone. I just left there. So before I went to the monument, I went to the storefront and she said it was fine, but for whatever reason, it's not working. I'll only be here for one more night, so it really doesn't matter. It does matter, but it doesn't matter because I need to have service whenever I get to the airport. And I don't like walking around without having service, especially since I don't speak Indonesian. I did that in Bolivia and I was like, ugh, never again. When I was in Bolivia, I did not have phone service, which I was fine, but wasn't the best thing to do. We don't want to be recording a military base. I think you can go to jail for that, at least in the States. And the States is like that. Like if you report in a military base, you can get arrested in the United States. So we're not trying to get arrested. It's cool to see that there's a mix between the scooters, regular vehicles, and the tuk-tuks. That's the common vehicles you see. Also the buses, of course. back to the mall because my phone is not working for whatever reason I don't have any service I need Wi-Fi to use my phone so I went back to my apartment to the hotel I can't use my phone unless I have Wi-Fi so I was like it's best for me to just come back here to the mall oh they have a Zara I love that back to cell phone cell. They said it was fine. It's not working. I went back to my hotel room to use the Wi-Fi. So hopefully to leave the mall, I can use the Wi-Fi here at the mall. If not, I can always walk back to my hotel. This is the restaurant I'm at. It says Indonesian soul food. 
it should be good it's a waiting list to get into the restaurant i'm number six which is not that bad but <laughs> at least i'm not hungry at least i'm not like starving i'm kind of feeling like oh i can eat this mall is huge so i'm on the other side of the mall i'm on level 3a If you love malls, you will love this mall. Dang, why there's nobody over there? There's nobody over there, but there's a lot of people over here. And this Vietnamese restaurant, Saigon Delight. There's a lot of people over here. I'm not gonna eat here though, cause since I'm leaving Indonesia, I feel like it's best for me to try Indonesian food. So this is the place. So I went back to the mall to go to this Indonesian restaurant called Rembulan. The first time I had nasi bakar, which is rice that is seasoned, mixed with different herbs and vegetables. I had the chicken, it's then wrapped in a banana leaf and then roasted. And then I had this delicious coconut milk beef soup. Alright, so let's try this My mouth is so hot of the spices like the peppers you know they're so tiny but they're hot they're really hot all right so let's try this again i'm just trying to pair the broth oh it's good it's sweet it has like a sweet taste it is coconut milk yeah i can taste the coconut coconut milk yeah that's really good like you can cut it with a spoon oh my god <laughs> that's how tender it is all right so i'm gonna try the beef with the rice if i can get it on there i'm trying it with the rice the beef oh that beef is so soft it melts in your mouth it's good and it has that sweet taste to it too yeah this is really good <laughs> I'm back at this restaurant again. It may be hard to hear me because they have to I'm not sure how to pronounce this restaurant. I went to this restaurant I ordered nasi bakar again and this time I had it with lamb along with soto ayam which is a traditional Indonesian soup made with chicken y'all that is the end of this video i really enjoyed my trip to jakarta and i can't wait to go back because there were so many things that i didn't get to see i hope y'all enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to hit that like button share the video with others and subscribe to the channel if you are interested in solo traveling or if you would like to follow my solo traveling journey thank you for watching until next time bye